It's been requested by some of you guys that you would like me to talk about the Selena Gomez, Hailey Bieber stuff. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. This video took some research, let me tell you, because there is so many things to this Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber situation, because when you go all the way back to the very beginning to now, it just gets crazy. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I first heard about this, I thought it was dumb. I didn't know the full details into it, like the things that Hailey Bieber was like posting at Selena Gomez. I didn't know that she allegedly was stalking them before she knew them. I didn't know any of this, so once I started digging into it and doing my research, I realized there's a lot more to this than just some weird jealous situation. Like this gets really, really bizarre. So if you guys don't know the full story, I'm gonna tell you guys, we're gonna go all the way back to the very beginning. We're gonna rewind and go to the past, which that era is a great era, let's be real. And then we're gonna get into the current stuff that's been happening Happening, and you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think in the comments down below because I know that most people are team Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber, and then there's other people where they're like, let it go, blah, blah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Some of you guys may not know about Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber. Maybe you've heard their names here and there, but you don't really know like how they came to be. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about them first, get their backstory and also Hailey Bieber's backstory, okay? We need to hear about Hailey Bieber and where she came from. And then we're gonna get into when Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber started started dating. Selena Gomez was born Selena Marie Gomez on July 22nd, 1992 in Grand Prairie, Texas to her parents, Ricardo Joel Gomez and Mandy Teefee. Her mom was only 16 when she had Selena and struggled financially to support the family. Selena later began her acting career as a cast member on Barney and Friends. I'd like to think of something I never thought before. If it doesn't happen right away, and would later become known for her role as Alex Russo in Wizards of Waverly Place on the Disney Channel. Because I'll buy you a brand new pair of sneakers? Sold. Good boy. I'm off to the sale, and mom and dad know nothing about that, right? Now back then, all of the shows had the main cast members sing the theme song, and Wizards of Waverly Place was no exception. Everything is not what it seems. So Selena Gomez later went on to make music as Selena Gomez in the scene and to act in many other movies such as Ramona and Beezus, Spring Breakers, and Another Cinderella Story. Now Haley was born Haley Road Baldwin on November 22, 1996 in Tuscan, Arizona to her parents Stephen and Kenya Baldwin. Her father is one of four of his famous acting brothers, Alec, Daniel, and William Baldwin. Her first career aspiration was to become a professional classical ballet dancer, but she ended up getting a foot injury which ended her career before it began. She then began modeling for Ford models and would appear in magazines like Teen Vogue and in ad campaigns for major brands like Ralph Lauren. She also walked for Dolce & Gabbana during Milan Fashion Week, but people mostly know her as Justin Bieber's wife. Justin Bieber was born Justin Drew Bieber on March 1st, 1994 in London, Ontario, Canada to his mother, Patty, and his father, Jeremy Jack Bieber. The two were only 18 years old when he was born and they split shortly after his birth. So his mom raised Justin as a single mother with with the help of her parents, so Justin was basically raised by his mom and grandparents. Now, he first began posting covers on his YouTube channel when he was just a kid. And that is how he was discovered by none other than Scooter Braun in 2007. Justin Timberlake and Usher were both at a race to sign Justin Bieber, but Usher ultimately won the bidding war between the two. Justin became extremely famous very quickly as a child with his songs ranging from Baby to One Less Lonely Girl. I will say this, doing research for this video, going back and seeing Justin Bieber when he was a little kid, you know, he was so wholesome and sweet, and now he just seems like he's gone through some stuff, and I'm gonna say, like, on a personal level, I, I kind of feel bad, because you can tell he's gone through some things, and I know a lot of people want to put it purely on Haley, but I think he has a lot of responsibility in this, and it's very easy to look at a woman and blame her for everything, but I'm gonna say this from the very beginning, Justin Bieber has full responsibility for every single thing that I am about to tell you guys. And for those of you that are over the age of 21, you are going to want a glass of wine for this video because it's about to get crazy. So that brings me to today's sponsor, which is Bright Sellers. I've worked with Bright Sellers before, and I'm gonna tell you guys why I love working with them. They 
They are a wine subscription service that sends wines directly to your door that are curated to your taste palette. All you have to do is take a seven question quiz that will help them match you with wines from all over the world that are curated to your taste palette. And as you rate your wines, each box you receive improves. Each wine has an education card that goes with it. It will tell you the flavor notes of that wine and also give you suggested pairings for meals that you can make that pair the best with it. When I go to pick out a wine, I have no idea what I'm looking at and I don't know what to get, but Bright Cellars takes care of all of that stressful stuff for me and then delivers it right to my door. Thank you to Bright Cellars for giving my followers a limited time offer of $100 off their subscription. This is the best offer that they've had, so I would definitely get on it. And all you have to do is click the link in my description or check my pinned comment down below. Sponsors like Bright Cellars make it possible for me to continue to create content that you guys love. So when you support them, you're also directly supporting me. So thank you so much to Bright Cellars for sponsoring this channel again. I love working with you guys, and I hope that if you guys choose to get some wine that you enjoy it, and if you did, let me know. Let's go ahead and get into the very beginning, and that's when there were some interviews and stuff that was being done with Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez where people kept asking them about each other, and they would leave little hints about how they thought each other was cute. Justin Bieber said that he had a little crush on Selena Gomez. If there's one person that you like have a crush on, if you saw that you would like... I would crush on... Selena Gomez. No one, no one heard that. No one heard that. No one heard it. This is from from 2009, and uh, we'll give you a copy of this to take with you when you leave. Listen to this. Uh, who in Hollywood are you a little bit obsessed with? What girl out there? <laughs> Beyonce. Beyonce. <laughs> He's a little old that for you, changed. but there's got to be somebody in Hollywood who's in your age group. I know you're trying to get this answer out of me, but I think Selena Gomez is pretty, oh, but okay. I don't like her. You talk to her. Of course I would. Absolutely. <laughs> so he had you on his mind in 2009. He's so cute. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I mean, look. I, look I, he sounds like he's nine. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. It, it, oh, my God. Things have dropped since then, look, I think. It, this, this that is, is hysterical. This is not the type of show he's going to try to, we're not going to try to embarrass you and ask you a personal question, but I, I thought it would be That's a crime great. for you not to hear that interview with him. That's amazing. That was cool. That made my day. See, but he calls you, he called you I'm going to go, I don't like you, though. I, don't like yeah, I mean, I don't like you. Exactly. It would have been different if he was like, oh, she's hot. He called you a cutie. I know. What is yeah, that? What is a cutie? Let me tell you. When he older than and Selena Gomez said things like, I couldn't date him. He's like my little brother. I'm like a big sister to him. I love Justin. I mean, when he first started to come over from Canada, his manager and contacted me. And, you know, he just he said that he really would like to meet me. And he's just such a good kid. And, it, you know, I feel like I'm a big sister now because I want to protect him. So I'm always like very cautious with him but he's so talented and he's so sweet so that just started us wanting to work together so we were like awesome let's let's do a song together let's like tour together she would say things like he's really cute but i would be like a cougar and you know maybe in a few years I like justin <laughs> by Biber. i never know how to say his name correctly i'm sorry i love yes i do i love him i think he's really cute i think in two years he's gonna be cute it's gonna be really cute. <laughs> you know what? He's the cutest, sweetest kid in the face of the planet. I feel yeah. like a cougar because I totally have a crush on him. You're two years older, right? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not a cougar yet. He's cute. He is so cute. He's got swagger. Yeah, I saw a video of you getting serenaded by him. I know. People at my school are saying that you and Justin Bieber are dating. <laughs> wow. I love that. I kind of wish we were. <laughs> no, he's 15, so I'd be a cougar. <laughs> <laughs> So that wouldn't be right, but he's very sweet, and I do love him very much. He's a very good guy. When he was here, he was right here. He he does have a little crush on you. I'm serious. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> he can call me in like three years. And I heard you got Justin Bieber fans in here. I am. <laughs> and apparently he's a fan of yours as well because he was uh, interviewed recently, and they asked him about Miley Cyrus, and he said she's real cool, but not my type. Then he was asked about Selena Gomez, and he called you a cutie pie, and said that you're amazing. And I think he blushed stall while saying that. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, he's about to turn 16. I'm just saying. I don't know how you have uh, time to date Justin Bieber. What? <laughs> oh, brother. He's little. He's. Like... No, no, he's like my little brother. I don't. Uh, that's weird. Uh, you're 
cute couple, I'm just saying. Thanks. So you could tell that she had a crush on him and she thought he was cute, but she felt like maybe she was too old for him, which I think they're like less than two years apart. So they were kind of at that weird stage where you know when you're younger and the girls start to get a little bit older looking, but then the boys still kind of, they haven't quite hit puberty yet. So even though they're really close in age, because of the age that it is, it's just a little, a little weird. So she was kind of in this place where like she felt like he was too young for her. The year that Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber met also happened to be the same year that he met Haley Baldwin, now Haley Bieber, which I find to be so interesting because what are the odds of that? Because Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber were on and off again for a very long time, but the fact that they met same year that he met his now wife. Look how young, I mean, yeah. you ended up marrying that girl. I like did, you yeah. met this girl at that age and then you ended up marrying her. I had no idea that I was gonna marry her at that time. <laughs> No, but um, I'm glad it worked out because she's an amazing, amazing, amazing person. And there's this, there's a lot of just everything's just all meshed together. It's a very small world over there in LA, apparently. Also, what are the odds that there is a video clip of the meeting for the first time? Like, there's a clip of it. Hey, John, my name's Steve. And the third song. How are you doing, bro? Okay, it's my daughter, Haley. The third song. Yeah. What I have gathered, and this is just purely assumption, this is not fact, but just my opinion on the whole thing. It looks like Haley Baldwin's dad was a believer. Like, he was like, Team Bieber, hell yeah, like, one less lonely girl, it's gonna be my daughter. Okay, not Selena Gomez. It's gonna be my daughter. He seemed like he was very like he wanted them to meet type situation I mean Justin Bieber was huge back then, right? So he introduced his daughter Haley Baldwin to Justin Bieber and there's a clip of it. She looks starstruck like she's just kind of like Ear in the headlights. Oh my god, like she didn't know what to do with her hands. And then there's another clip where Justin Bieber calls her a kid, which is so funny because he was a kid at the same time. <sighs> it's crazy. These girls are crazy. They're awesome. I just met Stephen Baldwin. Really cool dude. Just gave me this uh this skate video um that he produced. It's awesome. It's cool. He was a great guy. Um met his kid, it was a lot of fun. Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez ended up confirming their relationship. I didn't lie to you. I didn't know. I will say that. No. No. Well, no, you didn't blatantly lie. But, but, I mean, the little brother is not someone you want to date. You don't want to date your well, little. Well, no. No, no. <laughs> that would be, that would be weird. No, it would be wrong and, and weird. Is there a girl? Yeah, there was. What girl was it? Uh, her name. Well, her name is, uh, Selena. Selena Gomez? Yeah. Yeah. She just happened to be at the same game you were at? It was weird. You know, we were at a high school game and she just, she came to. Wow. So you just, just ran into her there? Yeah. So y'all just happened to sit next to each other? Yeah, it was the weirdest thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's she's sweet. She's a sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah. And Justin Bieber apparently rented out the whole Staples Center for him and Selena Gomez to watch the Titanic. And then these tweets were popping up from Haley because she was like behind the scenes standing Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber. She posted a lot of tweets back then about Justin Bieber and also Selena Gomez. And she would post these things publicly. So I'm for sure 100% team Jelena. She tweeted Selena Gomez on her birthday and said, happy birthday, pretty. She said Selena Gomez is so cute cute, don't argue, bye. I don't care what anyone says, but Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez together is the definition of a teenage dream. Selena Gomez is so friggin' good looking. Seriously though, she is beyond flawless and he's, you know, he's Bieber. They are the perfect relationship forever alone. And then Selena Gomez looks hot in her new music video. I don't think there's anything weird about this. Like it makes sense to me that Haley around that age would have been talking like that on her Twitter. She was just a kid. I think she was only like 14 or something like that, but I do do think that she had a crush going on with Justin Bieber. And I do think that maybe she was jealous of Selena Gomez, okay? But she was a kid, so we can't really hold a child responsible for what's now occurring today in adulthood. Because at the time, she was just a child. Of course, she's gonna have crushes. But I will say this. She had a friend that came out and exposed some things that she was saying privately in DMs. And that's where it gets a little bit weird. Haley was apparently trying to find where like Shawn Mendes was, who I think she did end up dating too as well, which is a little bit weird. She was trying to figure out where Shawn Mendes was located, where Justin Bieber was located, and she showed these DMs. It's something we were talking about with Harry Styles, blah, blah, blah. She said, 5 16 2012 i'm so confused when does justin's tour start i said 
we're all confused. When he said next week, I think he's releasing dates next week. And I'm almost 100% positive it will be a fall winter tour that will go into 2013. She said, right, that's what I thought. I was like, tour as in concerts? Haha, <laughs> I was so confused. Of course she's asking me. I'm one of his biggest fucking fans. So she wanted to know, like, and we were friends, okay? Which you could see between the millions of tweets between us. And the fact that she follows me on Twitter, which probably after this, maybe not. He made it sound like the tour starts next week, blah, 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 blah. She goes, cannot believe you just tweeted that about, oh, wait, no. So then this is a whole other conversation we had about Austin Mahone. Like, bitch, was a fan, bro. I don't even know what to tell you. We talked, within this one scroll, you've seen us talk about Harry Styles, Justin, and Austin Mahone. Here you're going to see where I wrote Satai Fifth Ave. The, the DM that was right above that that she sent to me is gone because she unsent it right away. And if I went back to my MacBook from fucking 2013, maybe I could find that because above that, and you're going to have to take my word for this one because I don't have it, but she said, what hotel is Justin staying at? Kylie and I want to know. Stop. I know you don't believe me, and that's fine. You don't have to believe me. Nobody's for you. look up Satai Fifth Ave around... February 2013, you will see that like he would he stays there. He stayed there a million and one times. So she said, "What the fuck, random ass ho hotel?" Cause like whatever. But I gave them that info because at the time Haley and Kylie were staying at the London. Justin had been known to stay at the London, but he was staying at the Satai. This all makes me sound like a psycho, but I was 15 years old and a Super Bieber fan. I'm 24 years old now. I don't even know if that map adds up. A Bieber super fan. We've all been there, but I lived in New York City and I had the resources to go see him. But, I mean, the moral of the story is the one where she said, what the fuck, random ass hotel, and I had said Satai for that. You could look it up. That's where he was staying. She wanted to know. She always used to talk to us about, because, like, this is just DMs. There had been text messages. There had been, like, video chats. There had been in-person conversations. She wanted to say, she knew she was recognizable by other people, Justin, or people on Justin's team or whatever. So she never would stand outside somebody's hotel. But we would give her that info because she would say she would either stay at that hotel or she would eat at that hotel or do whatever at that hotel so she could bump into him, okay? I could not make this shit up. Not only was she trying to figure out what hotel Justin Bieber was at in this video, she remembered in the future that she did that because at some point in time, Hailey Bieber went back to these DMs she was having with her friend and deleted her questions about what hotel he was at. So all you see is her friend saying that he's at this hotel and her saying that's a weird hotel to be at. But she deleted where she asked, but she didn't delete any of the rest of the conversation. So it's very obvious even without that being there. But it kind of shows me that Haley has a little bit more awareness Awareness than some people think because she remembered that she was trying to figure out what hotels he was at and went and deleted that DM. And it wasn't just him. She did the same thing with other male celebrities at the time. It seems like Haley definitely had intentions and then was successful in her intentions. It is known that she would try and figure out where he was so that she could bump into him. And it seemed like it was a random thing and she was trying to get in. Okay. That's what she was trying to do. And she she successfully did that. And the thing that I think is bizarre about this is that there's a clip of Haley where, I don't know, maybe she was embarrassed or something, but she said like, I didn't really know who he was and that's the honest truth. When we were there- Were you a, were you a believer? No, to be honest, this is this is the truth. I. He was so new that I didn't really know a lot about him. There are literally so many tweets. She knew who he was. She showed up at his events. She had pictures on magazines of him that she was holding up. Her dad was a believer. There's proof that she was trying to show up where he was. There's also clips of him where he's like taking pictures with fans and stuff. And you can see Haley in the background. Like she knew, hey, Justin Bieber is gonna be here at this place. So she was outside with the fans waiting on him to come out so she could bump into him. Like there's proof of this. Also, apparently Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber made this Call Me Maybe video that Haley and her friends went and remade. Remember when Justin and Selena and all of them made that Call Me Maybe video back in like the photo booth days? We remade the Call Me Maybe video. You could probably find it for yourself, but I'm not even like I'm in it. So like, I don't even want it 
the whole thing out there, but I will put the little clip of her YouTube. She was in it. She agreed to be in it for us. She made a clip and met at least emailed it to us <laughs> to put in a YouTube video that we remade of Justin and Selena. Like, what else do I have to say? YouTube. Like, the video's on YouTube. It's not even like I have it stored away somewhere. Like, bitch, that shit's on YouTube with 2,000 views and nobody's ever seen it. Like, she was all up in it. Okay, she was watching, waiting, plotting and planning, <laughs> scheming and scamming. <laughs> Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez were super cute at the beginning, but things went downhill very quickly. And all of a sudden there were rumors of him cheating and they started breaking up and getting back together. And it was on and off again thing, right? Now what is All That Matters, man? All That Matters uh, was written um, when I was in, uh, Prison. A, a <laughs> no, I was, I was, I was in a great place um, in my relationship, um, and uh, at, at that time, you know, she was all that mattered. Mm -hmm. like, now, is this a real story? Like you was in a great this, relationship this for true. real? This is true. Really though, yeah, is really. that with SG? Or? It, it really was. I wrote the best music um, once. I, once my heart was broken. Damn. Yeah, for real. It affected us, you know, uh, especially when we are in front in front of so many people. It's and such a public thing, and it's. It's just, it's hard for the both of us. But, you know, she's a great woman. I, I, you know, I, I love her to this day. I think we definitely went our separate ways and I love her and I want her to be awesome. But um, there's things that remind me of her and yeah, it was my first real love. You worried that maybe you met her too early? Yeah, I wrote a song, actually it didn't make the album, but it was, uh, it was called If I Would Have Met You In Five Years. It's just like, how true is that? How many people go through life and end up meeting someone and just, it's just, feels so right, but it's just the wrong time. She's um, someone I love dearly, dude, and I'm never gonna stop loving her. I'm never gonna stop checking in on her. I, I just want, honestly, dude, I just want her to be happy. I love her, and we're we're friends still. We were on and off for years, and then like we left on good terms. So like, I think it was just, we needed time to grow for ourselves. And like, we were like, you know what, maybe we'll come back together in the future. And then it ended up being like so long, and we just grew apart, and we're just not the same people anymore. Right. Were you and are you nervous about letting everybody in and letting everybody hear what exactly is going on in your mind and in your heart. Why everybody wants to form their own opinions and This is where Kylie and Kendall Jenner start coming into the picture. There were some pictures of Justin Bieber where him and Kendall looked like they were like snuggled up together. And then later he did say that they actually did have something going on, but it wasn't that serious. Haley Bieber was also really close friends with the Jenners, okay? So they all hung out. This is where it gets a little bit strange. Selena Gomez had went to Coachella with Kylie and Kendall Jenner. There was pictures of them. Apparently after Coachella, Selena Gomez unfollowed the Jenners on Instagram. And then there's pictures of Justin Bieber looking like him and Kendall maybe have a thing. So it began being speculated that Justin Bieber cheated on Selena Gomez with Kendall Jenner who was also close friends with Haley Baldwin. Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez ended up getting back together after one of their very many breakups. The day after they got back together, there was a picture posted. I don't know if it was posted on Kylie's or Kendall's or Haley's Instagram. I'm not sure which one posted it, but this picture was posted of all four of them laying in bed together right after they got back together, which I think is a little bit strange. And because she had unfollowed them, there was pictures of Justin with Kendall, all of this weird stuff going on, pictures of him with Haley started popping up. People just speculated she unfollowed them because he cheated. Now that they're back together, all the other girls were like throwing shade at the situation by posting this picture very subtly. I mean, Justin Bieber and Kendall would go and have these like private get togethers where they would go and eat just solo. Like it was very obvious that they had something going on. Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez have officially broken up for now after an extremely awkward trip to Paris, Justin and Selena went to Paris Fashion Week and Justin shocked the world when he went to dinner with his ex fling Kendall Jenner. A fan sent us a video of Justin and Selena on their way to the airport from their romantic vacation in St. Martin. Selena stormed out of the SUV that they rolled up in together, threw her back on the floor in the airport 
and then Justin trailed behind her, but they never said hi. They went onto their flight separately. You know, being on the outside and seeing that, it's like, wow, this is messy. You can imagine how Selena Gomez felt at the time. So I do feel that that is confirmation that he cheated on her. So all of a sudden, you know, Justin Bieber and Hailey Bieber are posting all these pictures together and they're clearly a thing. Then there's a clip of Hailey saying, you know, he's going on tour. We're not really defining anything right now, which was kind of skirting around the question. You could tell that they were a thing, but it wasn't really like super official yet. Not an exclusive couple. Um, he's about to go on tour. Relationships at this age are already complicated but I don't like to really talk about it because it's between me and him. And then after that clip where Haley said, we're not making anything official, Selena Gomez was seen at one of Justin Bieber's concerts and Haley is seen with Drake. And then Justin Bieber unfollows Haley on Instagram. And then he posts this song that's clearly at Haley, but like after it sounds like Drake's um, call me on my cell phone. You know you caught him on a cell phone when you couldn't reach my I, it's so stupid. I don't know why their PR team let them get all messy on social media like this, because it was messy. And then Justin Bieber started dating Lionel Richie's daughter, who was also close friends with the Jenners and with Haley. So they were literally sharing Justin Bieber. Like they were like, you get a little bit of Justin Bieber and you get a little bit of Justin Bieber and you get a little bit of Justin Bieber. And I remember at this time, because when Justin posted pictures with this girl, people were very team Selena. So people were very upset that he had this new girlfriend that he was posting on his Instagram. Instagram, and that's when Selena Gomez commented on it was basically like stop posting pictures of her and then Selena Gomez started dating The Weeknd and then her and The Weeknd broke up and then her and Justin Bieber got back together I mean literally they did on and off on and off on and off on and off and then you throw all these friends in the mix like he was having a taste of everything and everybody was having a taste of him and then this is what we got we got like a big a big mess of a Bieber stew. <laughs> so Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber got back together one last time, allegedly. There were these pictures of them together where they looked like they were having fun. And it's alleged that Justin wanted to get married, but Selena Gomez wasn't ready for it yet, which good, like he just cheated on her a million times. Like why would she want to marry him? And so they end up breaking up again. And two months after these pictures of them together were posted or leaked or whatever, He's engaged to Haley Baldwin. I felt like in the past we talked about, you know, me asking the question. She would say yes. I think I was more nervous about, am I going to make this commitment? Am I able to make this commitment as a man? Serious commitment when you say you're going to love someone for better, for worse, and like be faithful. That's a huge, am I able to do that? And I finally was like, you know what, I'm going to make the decision and follow through with it. When I first got, um, first got married, I hit a little bit of an emotional breakdown because I thought marriage was going to fix all my problems wow. and it didn't. It just kind of was a reflection of like, man, you, you're a bit of a hypocrite, man. Like you, you want your wife to do something that you're not doing. And it's like, I mean, it's, it's hard sometimes to look in the mirror and really have to realize, man, you, Maybe you're not the person that you necessarily thought that you were. Met uh, in the early mornings of a Today Show uh, taping. What? She, uh, her dad dragged her out of bed in the morning oh. um, and basically was like, you know, I think because they found out that like, I, I think it was an arranged marriage, I'm pretty sure. I'm not, <laughs> looking back now, I'm like, it was definitely an arranged marriage. Like they set this whole thing up. He was raised Christian. She's like, oh, I want it you know, introduce you to Justin and his mom. It was definitely an arranged marriage. Now that I'm <laughs> Goodness gracious. Not only was he cheating on Selena Gomez with all these people allegedly, but then he was back and forth with them too. Justin Bieber's mom for the longest time had, yes, I'm Justin Bieber's mom in her bio on Twitter. When she found out about the engagement, literally right after it was posted online, she took this out of her bio. For a long time, Patty's bio read, yes, Justin Bieber's my son. However, However, as soon as Justin made things official with Haley, Patty removed the reference to Justin from her bio. You know she was so mad. Like there are so many clips where you can tell she really likes Selena Gomez. She talks very positively of her. I love Selena. She's a sweetheart. What you see is 
is how she is. She's good for him. They're they're good together. They're adorable. How can you not like her? I mean, you've met yeah. her. Yeah. She's so yeah. sweet. Oh, I yeah, she's good for him and they're great together. Yeah. And you can tell just by her taking that out of her bio that that was like a nod that she was not about this engagement to Haley. And then she liked this tweet around the same time that he got engaged to Haley. So you know she was like, what are you doing? For proposing to a woman they've only known for a few weeks, I think the final guys on The Bachelorette should come help me scrub my kid's diarrhea out of my living room rug just to make sure they're serious about the whole I want a family with you thing. So you would think it would just end, you know, like they broke up, he moved on. Selena Gomez had to be very hurt because she was on and off again with him for a really long time. So for him to go and get married that quickly, Haley was very obviously a rebound. That is just what it is. It happened way too quickly. So the foundation of the marriage isn't exactly, you know, the best foundation. It doesn't really come off like something that's gonna be like a lifelong lasting thing because the way that they did it was just very, very messy. What I'm team is I'm team Selena Gomez going out living her best life and Justin Bieber and Hailey Bieber going and, and doing them, you know? Leave her alone, okay? Because I feel like Justin Bieber ended up being a very toxic situation for her and obviously not healthy. At the end of the day, like everybody is very like, look, Hailey got with Justin, like, uh, Haley. No, Justin did that. Justin's responsible for going from this girl to this girl to this girl, messing with people's heads, going back and forth. He's responsible for that, okay? That's on him. Now, this is what is on Haley, and that is the weird copying of Selena Gomez that she's been doing. Somebody asked me a while ago, what's the one thing you wish people knew about you? And I said I wanted it to be my heart. What do you wish more people knew about you? My heart. <laughs> You make me cry. Oh, no, no. When this came out, I really felt like I always battled with the idea that people didn't really know me. They right. didn't know who I was. They didn't know Haley for Haley. And I just always had this constant battle where I was saying, I wish people just knew my heart. You still didn't like me. You been not like me because you judge women like me. No, you I'm judged not. me before you and me, so no, I... No, I had a reason. I had a reason. Huh? What, had what a was reason. the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? I had a reason. What was the I reason? Just explained. I just explained the reason. What was the reason, bitch? I don't need to explain. Hailey Bieber is reminding me of that one best friend who you got the answers to the test and you're like, bitch, here's the answers, but change it up a little bit, right? And they, they write it exactly the way you gave it to them, bitch. Hailey Bieber would probably write her name Sahaley. Girl, this is a couple days apart. Let, let me tell you something. I need Haley Bieber to really analyze this equation because something is, if two plus two is four and five plus five is 10, what the fuck is, this is a couple days apart. Same tank top, same poses. I'm just like, girl, listen, if you want people to stop talking about you, you're gonna have to change it up a little bit. Change up the answers a little bit, okay? Change the color of the tank top. Do a little other poses, bitch. You don't wanna do the same poses. Unless she likes people calling her out for this. What do you guys think? Which I think the reason why it's as weird as it is is because it's not just that she's copying this girl. She was literally like tweeting about how she was like beautiful and like all this stuff. She was tweeting about how she was team Justin and Selena. And then now she's going and getting tattoos like Selena Gomez. She's dressing like Selena Gomez. Her skincare brand, like the style uh, that she decided to go with that of her skincare. Yeah, it's not exactly like Selena Gomez's um, makeup line, Rare Beauty, but like the style is very similar, like a similar shade of like a matte color with like the very minimalist stick font like you can tell she was inspired like she could have done any sort of makeup design i mean Kylie jenner's is a good example of how it's very specific to what it is like Haley's was very clearly inspired by selena and i wouldn't even say that if there wasn't all these other things that she was doing just like her but then not only would she pick and choose things that she wanted to do that was just like selena gomez but then she would do these like really mean things if you're a girl who's ever been in a situation like this and i unfortunately have where somebody is posting things at you that are hurtful you know when it's at you and when you're another girl doing it you know exactly what you're doing so this is the one that really upset me and that was that selena gomez had posted this picture and people were body shaming her and i have no idea why she looks amazing i don't know why people think that women have to have one body type to be good looking like there's a ton of different body types that look amazing and everybody is beautiful and unique in their own way and people are just need to like stop trying to box everybody in and make everybody feel like we have to all look one way so that 
there's nothing interesting and vibrant about the world because everybody looks the exact same. I don't know why people act like that. But so people started body shaming Selena Gomez. And then right after Hailey Bieber posted this thing that people thought was at Selena Gomez and then Selena Gomez commented on it and made it appear as though it was even more. And then of course Haley was like, no, I had, you know, that's not the intention. I'm oh just God. seeing this TikTok. I'm not saying she deserved it, but I'm saying God's Is she for real? Always Did right. she really? I'm not even like an avid follower of the situation, but isn't Haley the one that like begs Selena to tell off her fans? for bullying her. I mean, Haley's a bitch, right? Lena Gomez went on TikTok Live to confront fat shaming comments, especially after Haley Bieber's most recent TikTok that is now deleted, where it was like, I'm not saying she deserves it, but God's timing is always right. This came after the Golden Globes where people were actually fat shaming Selena Gomez. You can read Haley's comment where she denies it's about Selena. Selena commented on a fan's post about it and said, it's okay, I don't let these things get me down. Be nice to everyone. And here's what Selena had to say on her TikTok Live. Yeah, we have days where maybe we feel like shit, but uh, I would much rather be healthy and take care of myself and my medications are important and I believe in they are what helps me. It would seem like maybe it wasn't the intention if she didn't keep doing it, okay? Because she did it again with this whole eyebrow situation. I accidentally laminated my brows too much. My name is Selena Gomez. See, it doesn't even sound sexy. Is there drama between Kylie Jenner and Selena Gomez? There are tons of people speculating that there is some drama. So Selena Gomez posted to her TikTok and Instagram talking about her laminated eyebrows and how they're laminated too much, which I love her eyebrows. I think they look really good. But there are fans speculating that Kylie Jenner is poking fun at Selena Gomez. Kylie Jenner posted to her story saying this was an accident. And then the text is by her eyebrows. Then Kylie Jenner posts another story, but this time with Hailey Bieber and it's up close on their eyebrows. Do you guys think that Kylie Jenner and Hailey Bieber are making fun of Selena Gomez's eyebrows? Or do you think this is just a coincidence? And it's not like it's just coming from random girls, okay? It's coming from girls that were involved with Selena Gomez's ex. I don't know why they won't leave her alone and why they're on her shit and they feel like they have to tear her down and make her feel terrible. She already went through so much, you know what I mean? Like come on, like girls have to stop treating each other like this. Like Justin Bieber did some dirty shit, okay? And then he's not the one that's at fault for it. <laughs> like that makes no sense. Listen, I feel like Justin Bieber has room to grow and be a better person. I'm sure that, you know, sometimes we just see the worst of the worst, but all of these clips of him being like really rude to Haley. We're working alongside doctors, leading up to the tour to make sure that, you know, he was doing everything necessary and safe for that and we'll just keep doing that but it, it definitely is you know like it sucks that the tour was I just answered my, she, she was asking me hmm? huh <laughs> <laughs> anyways they were asking me because it's my Lyme disease it's not your Lyme disease are you, are no, you worried about my no. Lyme disease well, I was helped, you know, in every freaking day, been the doctor with you for months. So yeah, but sometimes they asked give... if I was scared about the Lyme disease because I was the one that has it. Right, but I that didn't say that. I just was saying that you were taking all the necessary. Listen to me, woman. Just kidding. Yeah, that's the attitude. Just messing with you. What up, Jay? What's up, Justin? Good morning, Justin. And I will say this, people try to compare the way he is with Haley to the way that he is with Selena. I think we need to remember these are two completely different decades, okay? He was a kid and now he's an adult, but I think this is more so that he's just you know, no offense, but sometimes he just comes off like an asshole. I mean, you can tell in some of these clips that they had been having fights. And then there was that extremely awkward, cringy lie of him with Haley. And I just feel like 
he's just rude to her sometimes. Some things are taken out of context, I think, where it's like it's clear that they're kind of like messing around with each other and then people turn it into something more than what it is. I do think that there is some of that, but for the most part, I think that they're a couple and sometimes you're seeing the not so fun side of being in a relationship, which is sometimes you get mad at each other and you argue and you, sometimes you storm out of the car and things like this just happen. This happened in Selena Gomez and Justin's relationship. On March 24th, Selena Gomez posted in her Instagram story, Hailey Bieber reached out to me and let me know that she has been receiving death threats and such hateful negativity. This isn't what I stand for. No one should have to experience hate or bullying. I've always advocated for kindness and really want this all to stop. And then fans noticed that Hailey and Selena Gomez are now following each other on Instagram. Some people have commented on Hailey Bieber's photos on Instagram and said that just because they're following each other, it doesn't erase everything Thing that has happened and that she owes Selena Gomez an apology. My personal opinion on this is that we don't know if she's apologized or not. They're the ones that spoke on the phone and none of us were in on that conversation. I personally am all for them making amends and for resolving this issue and doing what they need to do so that everybody in the situation can move on. Even though fans of Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber want them to get back together, I think we need to remember that that may not be what is best for them. Nobody is in just and Haley's marriage. Nobody knows what goes on behind the scenes. Nobody knows if they're good together or not good together because you only see little snippets of their lives on social media. It's kind of like my opinion after everything. And like I said, it's just an opinion. I don't know these people, all right? So take it with a grain of salt. I feel like Selena Gomez comes off as a very strong woman who is very established and she knows who she is. She comes off like somebody that's not gonna take somebody's crap. Okay, like she's not gonna be pushed around. And Haley has kind of been sniffing, you know, up Justin Bieber and trying to find where he is and coming off like a fangirl that she ended up marrying the person that she has been trying to get with. <laughs> I mean, she comes off like somebody who's like, I got what I wanted. I'm not gonna do anything to mess it up. I could be completely wrong, but when you look at their public personas, they both come off like two completely different people. And I think that Justin, chose the easier one to be with. And I'm not saying that Selena was hard to be with, I'm just saying that I think that she wouldn't put up with his crap and maybe sometimes Haley does. And I think that he treats her like crap sometimes. Like we've seen that, like I don't feel like I feel bad for her from some of the things that I've seen. There is something that's a little bit off about Haley. I'm not gonna lie, like her bullying Selena and like the cruelty and stuff, like you gotta grow up. Like you need to grow up and you need to start being a grown woman and treating other women better because this is just gross. Like we're not kids anymore, you know what I mean? Like start acting your age and have some respect and stop being mean to people. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you think in the comments down below. I feel like this situation is just messy. When I first heard it, I was like, oh, this is stupid. But then the more I dug into it, I'm like, oh, this is dark. Like this is actually really bad. For those of you that suggested that you would like me to do a video about this, thank you guys so much. If you have any more suggestions for content that you would like to see from me, topics you would like me to cover, things you would like me to discuss, leave those in the comments down below and I will definitely go through them. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe and I will be seeing you guys soon for another video.